So you're thinking about moving to Detroit, Michigan. Well, today in this video, we're gonna give you a tour of what it's like on Belle Isle Island. Hello and welcome to today's video on Belle Isle. My name is Matt Talbot. My team and I help people just like you every single day move here to Southeast Michigan and we absolutely live for it. Today we're in Detroit, Michigan. Actually, we're almost between Detroit and Canada. We're on Belle Isle Island. So Belle Isle Island is an awesome island here in the city of Detroit. It's actually a state-owned park at this point. As you can see the city skyline behind me, it's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful park. So in this video, we wanna give you a tour of what Belle Isle is like. We're gonna check out some of the fun features. We're gonna look at the aquarium. We're gonna check out some of the disc golf and actual golf range. We're gonna show you the beach out here and all the scenic options that Belle Isle has to offer. And we're gonna do all that starting right now. So quick history lesson, at least if I remember it properly. If not, please, while editing this, put some nice pop-ups to correct my mistakes. So this island was settled by the fr French settlers back in the 1700s. After that, it was actually a gift to Alexander Macomb Jr. I'm not sure if that's where the city of Macomb, M Macomb County came from, I'm assuming so. There's some direct overlap there. After his victory of the War of 1812, so they actually gave him this island, which is almost a thousand acres uh, to live on. And uh, fast forward years later, it was actually the 4th of July one year, they decided to rename the island Bell Isle, which means beautiful island in French. So they developed it and uh, moving forward from there, eventually was actually developed by the same gentleman who developed Central Park in New York City. So again, way back in the day, guys, Detroit was like the epicenter of the world. Like you had New York and Detroit, and when the auto industry came along, Detroit was the spot. It was almost like what I imagine of like Dubai for a lot of people is today. It was developing so place so fast. It was a place to be. The automo automobiles were coming out of here. So it was the place to be. So there's a lot of really interesting development that happened um, in the early 1900s throughout the city of Detroit. As you can see, a lot of cool architecture around here as well too. We're gonna dive into some of the unique features that have evolved since then. Uh, the aquarium was put in after that and several other different features have evolved over the last 100, 100 and 50 years, 140 years, whatever it is, uh, since the early 1900s. So hopefully those facts are mostly right, but quick history lesson of how Belle Isle came to be. Um, uh, the island itself, I think I already mentioned, but we're actually right in between, technically on US soil, but really not even a mile that way, I don't think, is Canada. So we're really right in between Detroit and Canada, which is a really, really cool feature. Um, for a long time, there were some other things happening here, including the Grand Prix. This is actually the first year, 2023, they put the Grand Prix back downtown. So it was actually a race throughout the Detroit streets, which is really cool a couple weeks back. So anyway, we're gonna jump over next. I think the aquarium, we're gonna jump over to next. I think it's the next stop on the way as we tour the island. The island itself is about a uh, mile and a half long. There's roads that go all the way through and you can do a full circle throughout as well as bike trails and stuff like that. You can take them through the road. So it's a great place to walk, great place to take your bicycle out, great place to drive around, uh, check out the different features during the day. So we'll show you some of that now. James Scott was the guy who donated the money to build this fountain, which is pretty unreal. It's like all limestone and stuff. It's really cool in person. Hopefully it shows just as well in, on camera. I like the last part the best. So it talks about when he did it and all this stuff, but from the good deed of one comes benefit to many. I love that. It's something to live by. It's something to go by. James Scott, interesting quote. So next stop is one of my favorite features of Belle Isle. It is the Belle Isle Aquarium right behind me. Super cool building. We'll try to jump inside. They're doing a lot of renovations over here, which is really cool. Um, initially, the building was developed and built in 1904 by George D. Mason and Albert Kahn. So here in Detroit, Albert Kahn is a very, very famous name. He's a very famous architect in the city of Detroit, have done tons of buildings throughout Detroit, and I think throughout Metro Detroit as well too, but he's very famous. A lot of people are searching for that Albert Kahn building because of his famous type of architecture. So the aquarium, like I said, was built in 1904. It, for a long time, it was the longest continually operating aquarium in the country, all the way in 2000, until 2005. So in Detroit 2005, when you know we had the uh, the market crash shortly after and stuff like that, it was a, it was a tough time uh, for Detroit because it really heavily impacted the auto industry. But since then, the aquarium has been reopened 
and uh, has been reopened by the Friends of the Belle Isle Aquarium. So it is now a nonprofit, privately ran, and they raised tons of money. So um, it cost the city about $530,000 a year in 2005 to continue to operate it, which is why it shut down when the city wasn't doing so well. Since then, there's been a ton of change in the city of Detroit. We're doing really well now. The budget's great, and things are uh, uh, prosperous here in the city, so that's a good sign. That being said, the aquarium's ran by the uh, Friends of the Belle Isle uh, uh, Aquarium, which is really, really cool. As you can see to my left, there's also botanical gardens, and to my right, I don't know if Nick can see that from here or not, we shoot over this way. Um, there's also lots of greenhouses, so glass greenhouses and stuff like that. That So a lot of things are happening. We'll show you some of the stuff going on. Uh, there's a cool koi fish here. Uh, at the aquarium which is really cool as well too they put those in and take those out throughout the year I'm pretty sure um, and actually another interesting fact according to Wikipedia of course where I get most of this information so please don't fact check everything uh, according to Wikipedia during prohibition there's actually a speakeasy in the basement so if we can show you what the inside of this place looks I hope they're not shut down for like a school or something today if we can show you what the inside looks it's crazy it's pretty cool um, very very old school vibes like I said designed by Albert Kahn but I can't imagine doing a speakeasy uh, during prohibition in the basement was probably just like such an interesting place like on this island between Canada and Detroit. So uh, lots of history here. We'll show you what's happening inside the Belle Isle Aquarium. So I don't know if you guys can hear me well. It echoes a little bit in here, but the aquarium, like I said, is really, really old school. Uh, and I love, I love, uh, sorry guys. Um, I love the ceiling, it's so green. It makes you feel like you're underwater, you're in the aquarium itself. And so I guess there's some art visit, uh, art exhibit set up currently. So some of the art in here is temporary. It's made out of art from trash from oceans and lakes and stuff, which is pretty cool. So we'll continue on. It's kind of crowded place today. There's a field trip walking in behind me, so. Is an octopus. They're like one of my favorite animals ever. They're so smart, so cool. So many things on Netflix, obsessed. So there's a uh, um, showcase here, and Nick already got a close up, but Pawavik tile, so they have some custom Pawavik tile, is a really, really cool thing here in Detroit. It's an old tile company that's been around for a long time. They actually used to make fireplaces and different decorative things throughout homes. So a lot of the Detroit architecture and Detroit homes have cool Pawavik tile. We'll make another video that dives deeper into that, but wanted to talk about that a little bit because Pawavik's super cool. So it's a little bit of a bummer today, but in the future, they're putting $10 million in renovations um, into the conservatory uh, um, center. So as you can see, lots of construction behind this, but uh, it's a cool thing. There's a lot of plants and different wildlife and stuff like that here. Wish I could take you guys through it. However, 10 million bucks is going into this area, so it's just gonna continue to get better. Um, some really great people in there, all the volunteers and stuff that are showing me around and, and trying to, to, to show us what to do, what not to do with the cameras and stuff, but really great people here. It's really great atmosphere. A lot of kids here today. She said typically Friday mornings, which is where we're at today, is a little bit slower, but um, lots of field trips and stuff, which is awesome. That's what it's all about, guys. Check it out for yourself. So up next, one of my favorite features, not my favorite feature, this is my second favorite feature, we're saving the best for last, so stay tuned to the end. But my second favorite feature on the whole island, I'm up here all the time because I live in the city of Detroit, so I drive over here and stuff like that, is Belle Isle Golf. So this is a really, really cool facility. They put a ton of love and attention and money into over the last couple years, so it's evolving pretty fast. Right behind me is a short game practice facility. There's a driving range. They recently uh, implemented uh, um, a trackman type device, so there's digital golf and screen we could show you that in a minute. There's also, I think, five or six holes par threes that you can play um, all short game type stuff with wedges and stuff. So it's a really cool practice facility. They're doing a lot of fun stuff out here. This is the other end of the island. So when we started the video, we were really sort of on the south um, end of the island, and now we're almost on the north end of the island or, um, or east end of the island, I should say, northeast end of the island, right? So um, really cool spot here. We'll give you a quick couple shots inside to show you what it's like. This is one of my personal favorites. I'm up here all the time. I hit range balls at night. It's the end of the island. So a lot of times, you know, the sun's setting. It's just good vibes out here all summer. So I love coming up here. One of my favorite features, but stay tuned because I'm going to save the best for last. My favorite feature is coming up next. This is seriously like my happy place, guys. I don't think you understand. This is where I come to med meditate. Okay, guys, so we're at Belle Isle 
golf. This is the driving range. For those of you who don't know, I used to be a competitive golfer as a kid. Top Tracer range, this is really cool. They just implemented these, these screens over here. All the way down, you can play games almost like a top golf or you know, different closest to the pin contest and stuff like that. So like I said, when the sun sets or just pretty much any time during the day, it's a great thing if you're into golf to come out here. So if you live locally, drive to Belle Isle, check it out. Um, like I said, there's some par three holes here as well as a practice facility behind us. Additionally, there's some bald eagles that live on the island. So sometimes you'll be out here practicing, you see the bald eagles flying around and stuff like that but I want to show you one shot or two, the most important part. <laughs> All right, Nick, no, uh, no stretching. I'm gonna do a little stretch so I don't hurt myself because I worked out this morning. You guys can judge my swing back home. We got a little seven iron from the clubhouse. Seven iron's usually like a 175 club if I don't suck. See here, put it together. Oh yeah, I almost shanked it. Last but not least is the beach here at Belle Isle. So this is Belle Isle's beach. Uh, today, it's a little bit of a cool afternoon, so not crazy busy out here. In the middle of summer on a not nice hot summer day, it's absolutely packed. It's hard to even find a spot sometimes. Uh, that being said, it's a great place to come out and picnic, You know, set up your uh, tent, your picnic table, get all your food and beverages out here, and come hang out. As you can see behind me is the Detroit skyline. So what city, you know, it's very cool to me to have this in the city of Detroit where you're actually on the island, the city views behind you, it's beautiful sand out here, and you can come hang out on Belle Isle Island. So a couple other important features of the island that I can't miss out is the Detroit Yacht Club, the Detroit Boat Club, uh, Frisbee Golf, there's a disc golf course out here, and so many, uh, many other activities, including pavilions that you can rent. So a lot of people do like family reunions, come out and do picnics and pavilion rentals and get big groups of people out here, nice barbecues and stuff like that. So there's a lot of other really unique features. We don't only want to keep the video so long, but the beach is my personal favorite. We're out here all the time. Detroit is known for a lot of their electronic music so people are usually usually bumping music sometimes there's festivals down here and food trucks and all that great stuff so Belle Isle Island uh, is such an awesome facility the beach itself is my personal favorite so thanks so much for tuning in to today's video if this video provided any value to you if you're interested in learning more about the city of Detroit Metro Detroit Southeast Michigan or moving to the area please hit subscribe and tap for notifications thanks for tuning in